U.S. Game Collection number 29, complete. The Immortal John Hancock here, and today I'm going to be showcasing my U.S. Sega Saturn game collection. I've been collecting for the Saturn over 20 years, and I have a lot of personal connection to many of these games. And I love collecting Sega. I'm kind of known as a Sega collector, but truth be told, I kind of collect everything. And I wanted to showcase this. And on top of that, I wanted to showcase the front cover art on many of these games. A lot of times you see a lot of Sega Saturn collections out there. They're spined out and they look great. A lot of times you don't see the artwork on the front. And I thought I'd showcase that in today's video. I'm also doing today's video in 4K. And so hope you enjoy it. All right. So here it is, my Sega Saturn Complete US Game Collection. I'm still pursuing a couple accessories, most notable the steering wheel and the arcade stick complete in box. But just wanted to show my game collection. This has taken me 20 years. I've had some help getting it complete. I wanna thank all the people that helped me with it. And it's been a great journey. Been collecting a long time been collecting Saturn over 20 years, and this is what I've accumulated. And so I'm gonna do this as best I can. And I thought I'd sprawl it out, face out. You see a lot of Saturn collections, and you never see the front artwork, typically in a complete collection. Why? Because it takes up a lot of space. And I'm gonna kind of go through this and, and share some of the personal stories and connections that I have with some of these items. In best alphabetical order as possible, I used a, a collection list online, and this is it. And so, uh, real quick, I'll go up here, and that's some of my box accessories. I don't have all of them. Again, I, I mentioned I need the steering wheel and the Virtua Stick, but uh, those are my Saturn accessories that I have for US. The system right there is my first Sega Saturn that I collected at a flea mart a long time ago. And, you know, I was really happy to get one. And this is, you know, I was in college and I would go to the Jolly Giant Flea Mart in Redding, California, it's still around. And I was able to score a box Saturn there with a couple games. And it was a lot of fun. It really kind of uh, motivated me to collect more Saturn over time. All the cases that you see, 99% of them are original. I have about 20 that need to be replaced with uh, some minor cracks. And you can see them probably in this video. I'm doing this video in 4K. A lot of great games in the Saturn library, especially the United States. Even though the United States Saturn library is notably small, very challenging to complete. So many great titles though. Even a lot of the sport games are a lot of fun. So one of the, show this as best as possible. Battle Monsters. Battle Monsters is a kind of a fun game. I typically sometimes pull that out and play that on Halloween. It's kind of a great game. Kind of a weird fighting game. Saturn long box cases are a challenge. Challenge collect, they crack. And there are uh, many challenges with keeping them in good shape. I use protectors for some of my more expensive games and the link will be below to where you can find those. Burning Rangers, Bust, Bust and Move 2, one of the strangest covers I think for a Saturn game. Clockwork Knight 1 and 2. Congo. I was missing the, the instructions for Congo for the longest time and I eventually just got another one. And so it, it was in my collection and it bugged me because I was missing the instruction manual. Justin, thank you very much. Contra Legacy War is complete with the glasses inside, unused. Corpse Killer.
Croc. Croc's a great 3D platformer that often gets overlooked. There was a Saturn version. A lot of people know about the PlayStation one. D, a copy of D, it's got a couple cracks on the front of the case. And a claim, one thing about a claim is a claim had these uh, different inserts that were um, lighter. I don't know if it was a shipping issue or why they use their own inserts, but the inserts for a lot of acclaim games are, are generic looking and different. And so if you want original, please, I, you know, I recommend keeping them. So yeah, I'm torn on using replacement cases. A lot of the times I would actually try to use the same game as a replacement case. And so replacement cases look better, but then there's the debate if it's not original anymore. My Daytona USA Netlink Edition is complete and it has a really nice shape manual and game disc. And I did that in a previous video. My Decathlete, a little sun faded. Most of my games are, you know, 99% in great shape. Good, good to excellent. My Decathlete is a little sun faded on the cover. Another challenge, a lot of these games, some of these games came from rental stores. That's a challenge. Enemy Zero, my Enemy Zero was damaged. My, the back case art was a little wrinkled and so finding one in good shape, it is expensive. That's the other challenge with Saturn. The, the, the system itself, it, especially some of these games are very expensive. And so, you know, going for a set is really, really kind of a marathon. And it's, it's not fun when you have to spend hundreds of dollars to get a particular game. And I really, I would say, you know, individually collecting Saturn games to play is probably a little bit easier, you know, for me. I was really driven to pursue all of Sega's consoles and complete game collections. This is something that meant a lot to me, especially for a future museum. So that's why I did it. That's why I pursue it. For people that ask, do you play all your games? I, my focus is a museum. And so there's that. House of the Dead, very good version of House of the Dead. Pretty uncommon to find on the Saturn. In the Hunt, another great Saturn game. Incredible Hulk Independence Day, often overlooked. Not a bad game at all. Iron Storm. My copy of Iron Storm is actually a Working Designs employee copy. And it's got like a promotional stamp inside. And I bought that a long time ago. So many classics here. My, my copy of Lunacy was missing a disc for a long time. And when I went through, I was double checking the condition of all my games before I did this video. I noticed I was missing a disc. And I start, wanted to do this video a couple months ago, but I noticed there was just a, a couple things I really like to upgrade. And my Lunacy finally got another disc for it. Ah, Madden 97 and 98. Also known as the Sega Saturn cases that are pilfered for other games. But uh, I tried to just really keep it as original as possible. That's why you notice some cracks. But all these uh, game cases, the majority of them, I'd say a ton are original. Original from the actual game as well. I, I don't like piecemealing games together if possible. I try not to do that as little as possible. Best version of Mega Man 8, right there. It will cost you though. My Mortal Kombat 2 came from a rental store. All right, Mysteria is a variation and I have both of them in my collection. Even the sport games for Saturn are going way up. You know, people ask me all the time, what do you think this collection's worth? No idea. If you think, you know, comment below in the comments. You know, for me, it's not about the value. It was about representing history. You know, the Sega Saturn was pretty much a failed console in the United States. I still think it had a lot of good titles. Just PlayStation came from out of nowhere and just walloped Sega. 
but there's a lot of Sega diehard fans that love the Saturn. Saturn did things, some things better than the PlayStation. I think the 2D gaming was better on Saturn, hands down. But some of the 3D games suffered. Nights in the Dreams, I have both versions, including one with the 3D control pad. Here it is. Panzer Dragoon Saga, probably the one of the most popular and expensive games on the console. It's excellent, mine's complete. I got it at Video Game Wizards many years back for 200 bucks. And so, just to show you how prices have changed over the years. And so, if I was to start the Saturn collection now, don't think I'd be able to complete it. Just really expensive. All right, here it is. That's the game I was missing in my collection, Quarterback Attack. I looked everywhere, and honestly speaking, I don't think I ever had it. And one thing to note is that some Saturn cases have stickers on them. The sticker right there is something particular to this game. And so if you wanna keep it original, original, you have to have that sticker on the case. And so there's a lot of games that have like stickers on the cases and it makes it original or unique so you can't swap out cases if you want to keep it 100% complete. It's really challenging sometimes. There's also these cases here. You have uh, GamePro was doing a promo and so there's several games with those stickers on them. I have a few of them. I don't have all the label variations but it does, they're nice to collect. In my opinion, this is the best game on the console, Saturn Bomberman. It's an absolute blast to play. It's featured at many expos for a good reason. It's a lot of fun. And I still think it's one of the best Bombermans to be offered. This is a strange one. I don't know the history behind this one, but it had a not for resale sticker on it. Actually two. I don't know if it was some type of strange bundle, but I kept the case, even though the case has a crack on it because I saw both stickers on there. And the stickers being original, that meant more to me than a crack case. And so I keep the crack case because I think that's cool. Shining Force 3, unfortunately in the States, we didn't officially get the other two parts. Shockwave Assault was purchased secondhand and had some strange stickers on it, so I kept the stickers on it. The three Sonic games that we received here in the States. Spot Goes to Hollywood. It was a 32X version of Spot Goes to Hollywood unreleased and it has been dumped. All right, you're probably wondering why did you keep that sticker on there? That is from a software Excedra. And that's original price sticker. It's been ripped off probably because it was sold secondhand for, for less. And so yeah, Street Fighter, the Street Fighter games, many awesome, awesome games on the Saturn. Many of the Street Fighter games are awesome on the Saturn and highly recommend them. My Street Fighter collection, yet another game I was missing one disc and going through making sure my games were in good shape. One of my games I was missing a disc was Street Fighter Collection. Ah, a famous bad game that a lot of people enjoy playing and that's Street Fighter the movie. Tempest 2000, awesome version of Tempest. Gotta have Tetris.
strange cover art tunnel B1. <laughs> the 90s was full of weird covers and people were trying to outdo each other and so it's neat to see some of this cover art. All right. Berkshire Fighter 1, 2 and Remix. This is a variation that I'm missing and that's a long box. I do believe it's Canadian and it's definitely hard to get. It's just one of the one of the few variations I'd like to have, but I'm missing it. A lot of sport games. Some sport games are great and other games, I, I think that's a big challenge of the set is even though there's not that many for the Saturn set in the United States, but a lot of them are expensive. Even common games can be as much as 40 bucks now. And so that's a lot of money for a game that you want to have to complete a collection. Winning Post, that's a really bizarre game. Very obscure, you know, Japanese horse racing game. Made it to the States. A little bit of a glare here, apologize. All right, I do have a sealed net link, and that includes, uh, you're probably wondering, do you have the net link games? Yes, I do, and it's sealed. And I got some oddities now. Now, I don't have all the demos, but I'm gonna showcase what I have. I have several of the demo discs, I'm missing some. Demo discs are fun to collect. Some of them are very hard to find now. There is a second bootleg sampler, as well as a Sega Streams Volume 2. I have the first one, and this uh, Sega Streams Volume 2 is probably one of the harder demo discs to find. I don't know what it goes for, I am missing it. I'm missing the sleeve to my Rayman demo disc. And now I have some aftermarket stuff, and I'm really proud to show these on camera. And these are Lost and Found Volume 1, Volume 2, and Volume 3. These were offered at Retro Gaming Expos, Classic Gaming Expo first in 2004. And the next one was at Classic Gaming Expo 2007. And these include, you know, unreleased games, commercials, etc. These were kind of nice. Very, very hard to find now and very few people have all, all three. You're, uh, I have a picture somewhere on my computer of all the Sega Saturn Lost and Found Volume 1 all together before they were sold. Only 25 of the first one, very hard to get. And you're probably wondering, why did you choose number seven? Seven is uh, it's my birthday. So April 7th is my birthday, and that's why I chose seven. Seven's my lucky number, and that's why I chose seven. Now, up here, Northwest Classic Game Enthusiast 2K7. And that is what PRGE was called before it was called PRGE. So that's a little tidbit there. And so that's that's cool that it, uh, you know, those, those are the shows in the Northwest before Portland Retro Gaming Expo. So really neat to, to, to represent that. And number 47 out of 50. These are aftermarket items made by Saturn enthusiasts and thank you so much I'm, I'm grateful to have these in my collection uh, thank you very much Kay for that one some other aftermarket this is a case made for Christmas nights and there's other aftermarket things that you can pursue and this is kind of cool someone someone made this and it it's awesome, it was gifted to me, so thank you. And there you have it. Sega Saturn US Game Collection, complete. I'm really excited about completing this game collection, but really, the truth be told, it's never really done. <laughs> Got, I have some cases I have to replace, as well as a couple accessories I need to hunt down still. And it, it's never done, but it was good enough for a video for me and I wanted to showcase, you know, what a US Saturn game collection looks like. I hope this helps other Saturn collectors out there. 
it's a fun system to collect for and it is very expensive i wish it was cheaper and i just want to thank all the all the people out there that helped me along the way there's there's many and you know who you are and i want to say thank you very much and i want to appreciate all the people tuning in to my humble channel uh, as this video goes live, I'm going to be pretty much at 80,000 subs. And so I'm really excited about hitting that milestone. I look back, you know, if I've, I've, my channel's grown quite a bit. And I have a lot of people to thank for that. And thank you for people continuing to tune in. This is the Immortal John Hancock. I hope you enjoyed this video. You take care.